What's up everybody? You're here with the Fly Guy. It is really windy out. There's a storm coming in and I'm going to try to press in and get some fish before the storm hits. So I hope you can hear me. I'm sorry for all the wind noise. My day got completely messed up. I was going to try to get out here earlier but I just had some things come up that I had to take care of. So I'm going to see if I can get my first smallmouth of the year. Uh, the river that I am fishing has just come down to a fishable level. All right. So what I'm trying to do is just fish some pocket water, see if there's some fish close to the shore, and see if they're feeding uh, with this approaching storm. So come along with me today and let's see if we can get into something. So this is a new fly that I've tied. It's pretty simple, but it's got a unique body. Uh, I made it out of feathers and a twisted flash material. I kind of blended the material together, and I'm going to do a fly tying demo on this if I catch fish on it. I'm expecting to, but we'll see. I'm fishing this drop shot style, so uh, as you can see a little bit down the leader here, I've got a drop shot, and there's about a foot between this fly and the drop shot. So I'm going to see if I can put this into slack water, keep it there, and hover it around any fish that are willing to eat. Oh wow, there we go, there we go, nice fish, alright, alright everybody, that is a nice small mouth. I am really happy with that. He was very close to shore and he took that drop shot fly and the hook kind of popped out in the uh, net but as you can see there he wanted it. Beautiful fish. That's my first smallmouth of the year and I'm happy with it. Awesome. Let's go get ahead and get him back. So I kind of wanted to explain my logic on why I used a drop shot today uh, on the fly rod. It's not something that's commonly done on the fly rod, especially for bass. Um, you know, guys that fly fish for bass, you know, they're fishing streamers, they're fishing poppers, all kinds of different stuff. But fishing a drop shot for bass on the fly rod is something kind of unique. And I've used it for, I would say, about four seasons now. And it's really brought me a lot of fish when other techniques have failed. It's not only a technique for finesse. Um, today is a perfect example. The reason I used this rig was not to be a finesse fisherman, but because it was so versatile with the conditions that I was facing. It is super windy. Having that split shot on the end of my fly line really helped me punch through the wind and execute casts. Now, granted, I'm not making long casts. You do not want to make long casts with weighted flies or weighted setups, okay? If you have a split shot or a clouser, you know, if you're trying to cast 80 feet and not hit yourself with windy conditions, that's going to be a chore. You're going to have a job ahead of you. And, you know, for me today, the max I was casting out was about 30 feet. That is all I needed to get into these fish. They were close to the shore and they were feeding, so I didn't need to cast much farther than that. Most of my casts were parallel to the shoreline, and I was jigging that fly deep to start, working my way up from the bottom of the riverbed to close to about mid-depth. I would also use a fast retrieve. So there's that subtlety right out of the window. You know, when that fly is hitting the water, it's making a splash. So I'm doing a fast retrieve to pick up some fish I might have missed when I was jigging. So it not only allows me to have multiple retrieves, but it enables me to have a little bit more casting ability in the wind. The other part about it that makes it nice is that if I have a fish close by and all I need to do is just dap the fly or dip in close by, 
I can quickly drop that fly right into structure, right into cover, and get into that fish, rather than having a neutrally buoyant fly that just sits there and I have to wait to see if that fish is going to come out. I can go right to that fish quickly and effectively and hopefully get a hookup. So there's three reasons why I fish that drop shot technique uh, today. And I just want to let you guys know, I'm going to be showing you guys how to rig this drop shot technique up on the fly rod for both smallmouth and largemouth bass. I'm going to show you how to rig it up, what flies you can use, kind of some techniques for different fly patterns that you can use, and then I'm also going to show you um, some different knots as well uh, that'll serve you well in this game. So. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'm going to be posting a video soon on how to drop shot on the fly rod for bass, how to set the rig up, and a couple different ways to fish it. So let's get back to the action and see if I can get a few more fish before the storm hits. Well, somehow I felt this little guy tap it, so little rock bass too. And that just goes to show you the benefits of using fluorocarbon. You can feel almost everything. Okay, so what I did for that fish, that fish hit differently. So instead of just pulling up after fishing this stretch and heading out, I actually started to fish a more aggressive retrieve to see if there were any fish that were, you know, maybe feeding on bait fish or minnows. Just something different to switch it up. And because I switched it up, that fish took it. What a beautiful smallmouth. Let's go ahead and get him back. Nice fish. but uh, it's starting to cloud up. It's starting to look a little bit uh, dark. I'm gonna press it as long as I can and see if I can't get some fish before it starts storming. So far I've been doing good. I'm pleased with my results, uh, but I just wanna play it safe and make sure that I don't get caught into trouble because I have maybe, maybe a half mile of walk back to the car. So I'm just gonna play it safe and make sure I get back there in one piece. and just crushed it. I didn't feel it, but I saw it. That was really cool. All right, let's get him back.
All right, everybody. So I caught a few fish in a short amount of time. I was really happy about it. Those are my first smallmouth of the year. And for those of you that have been with me since the beginning, you know that smallmouth bass are my favorite fish on the fly rod. I'm full on addicted to them. So being able to get into some today uh, was really nice. And you know, yet again, nothing huge, but the first fish was really nice and they all fought. So uh, fun fish, had a great time. I'm gonna pack it in. You know, the wind is blowing about 35 miles an hour and it's hard for me to cast even with a split shot on the end of my fly line using the drop shot technique. I'm just having a hard time controlling my casts and really to be honest with you, I don't want to hit myself in the back of the head and have a trip to the ER digging a hook out. So, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and if you liked it, go ahead and hit thumbs up and I will put links in the description below uh, to some of the equipment that I was using. Uh, the fly rod, I chose to use an eight weight today just so I could manage the wind, have a little bit heavier of a line uh, to really cut through that wind and I'd say it, it did just, just the trick and helped me get into those fish earlier. Also, I will put my reel, my fly line, everything will be in the description for you so I have some things to look at. I'll also put my cameras in the description below. I've got some new cameras for the year so you can check those out uh, before I release the video that goes over my camera gear. Uh, so I will be uh, doing a video on my new camera setup for this year. So stay tuned for that as well. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos. So if you haven't subscribed already, this would be a good time. Thanks again for watching everybody. Take care and we'll catch you next time.